Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 through 27. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us! We are perishing! He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, we witness a powerful storm raging while Jesus and his disciples were in a boat. The disciples were seasoned fishermen, and so they were no strangers to the dangers of the sea, and yet somehow they found themselves in the situation that seemed way beyond their control, and fear had overwhelmed them as the waves threatened to capsize this boat. But Jesus seems unaware, or he doesn't seem to care because he was peacefully sleeping. The disciples wake him, and he calms the storm immediately. We all face storms of different kinds in our life, trials, uncertainties, challenges, and they threaten to overwhelm us. And sometimes we may be tempted to rely solely on our own ability to get ourselves out of a jam until we realize that any power that we've been given has been given to us by Jesus. He provides us with the freedom to place our trust in him. He never tries to imply that just because we believe in him that there will never be storms in our life. In fact, sometimes the more we demonstrate our faith, the more that evil wants to test it and tear it down. But if we place our trust in Jesus, we discover that the freedom that he offers transcends the circumstances of our lives. It's a freedom that is rooted in the assurance that we are not alone, that God is with us, guiding and protecting us, and calming the storms that threaten to overwhelm us. And so today, let's pray, and let's strive to be like the disciples who, in their fear and vulnerability, turn to Jesus, acknowledging their need for his saving grace. 